Good morning Year 4, um, this comprehension video is for the children that have the Year 3 comprehension book and the text that we are going to be looking at today is um, called Robotic Baby Penguin and it's on pages 16 and 17, okay? Now, a little bit about this text is that it does look different to, I'm just flicking through now, the other text that you have looked at and that's because it is in the form of a newspaper article okay so if you were to have a look at a newspaper this is how there are the articles that you would find in newspapers would appear typically okay so you would normally have a picture here for example so they'd usually include a picture they'd have a title which would be in a bigger font so then it can stand out so you can see exactly what it is that you are reading and then the information afterwards that explains what the text is about that tells the story in the newspaper is underneath the title okay and it's usually written in columns as you can see here because that's just the way that we present writing when we're writing in a magazine or a newspaper article okay now with this text you've got your glossary underneath here and these are words that you might not be familiar with okay so you know how we talked about in previous videos how you need to underline highlight any words that you are struggling on that's what the glossary is there for it's to help you with the words that you aren't familiar with okay and it just gives you a brief explanation as to what those words mean okay it might use a synonym to explain because a synonym is a word that means the same but it is written differently it's spelt differently isn't it okay so your first question is asking you about um, why the researchers need to use a robot when they study penguins because you hopefully will, when you read the text, discover that this text is actually about baby penguins that are really robots, okay? And um, it's a text that looks at some scientists that have designed these robots and they're using them to get closer to emperor penguins to study their behaviour. Okay, so you need to answer the question in full sentences, remember with your capital letters full stops. Um, and the question is asking you, why do they need to use a robot to study the penguins? What couldn't we do as humans go and do? in um the, like these these penguins what couldn't we do in their habitat what can't we go up and do we can see them in places like zoos and sea life centers and they're usually okay but that's because they're used to seeing humans so why is it that the researchers have felt like they needed to design a robot to allow them to go and get closer to the penguins okay why Number two is asking you to categorise the word cunningly, okay? Now, there are four different word classes here and you need to choose the word class that it fits into. So, the first choice is a noun and we all know that a noun is a name of something, don't we, okay? B is a preposition. Now, a preposition is a word that explains where something is in relation to another thing so i might say the mug is on the table so the word mug which is the first noun um is on which is the preposition so on the second noun which is the table okay another example could be um i stood behind the door so the first noun would be i preposition would be, ha be, be behind and the second noun would be door okay so you need to think very carefully about whether or not it's a preposition is it a verb okay so we all know a verb verb is an action word so have a think is the word cunningly a verb and then the last choice is an adverb and we all know that that's a word that explains the verb so it's adding additional information onto your verb isn't it so have a think 
about which word it might, uh, which word class it might fall into. And all you're doing there is drawing a circle around it, okay? Number three, where has the robotic penguin been used according to the text? So you've got to read the text for this answer. And it's asking you, where has this, this robotic penguin been used? So whereabouts in the world have they sent this penguin to? to study um, emperor penguin behaviour. Number four, what shortened form of the word robot is used in the text? Now we know that when a word is shortened, it means that they've made it smaller. Okay, so a good example would be cannot. It's been contracted, so made smaller to the word can't. Same with do not, don't, okay? And all you're doing is you're going to have a look. It might not have an apostrophe because we know those words have apostrophes. But um, this word robot won't have an apostrophe. So you need to find in the text where they've used a shortened word, which means the same thing as robot. It could have the same letters in there. OK, so you need to keep an eye out when you're reading the text to see if you can pick that out. Question five is an opinion question so it's asking you for your opinion and you need to explain your answer with things that you have read in the text okay so it says do you think it is easy or difficult to design a robot that can be used to help researchers study penguins explain your answer so you would write to begin with i think it would be easy or i think it would be hard and then you'd finish that sentence off and then you would say I think this because, and then you would find something, some evidence in the text that can back up why you think it might be easy or difficult to design a robot, okay? So don't worry if you're stuck on these types of questions because it is asking for your opinion, but then you need to find evidence in the text to back it up, okay? So if you are concerned that if you think the answer is easy, but you're worried that it's going to be wrong, if you can find somewhere in the text that explains why it is easy, that backs up your point, then that is fine, okay? Number eight, uh, number six, uh, why did the penguins find the robot disappointing? So you need to have a look in the text where it explains why they found the robot, why they found the robot disappointing, okay? So it might be that they're looking for something and the penguins didn't give them what the researchers wanted. So you need to read in the text where it explains why the penguins were a little bit disappointed by that by the robot. OK, number seven. How do you think Vion Limao felt when he saw the robotic penguin go up to the real penguins without scaring them? Explain your answer. So, again, you need to read the text. And you need to think about how this scientist, the lead scientist, um, Mahav, felt when he saw the robotic penguin go up to the real penguins and it didn't bother them. OK, so you need to think about how he might be feeling because he's put a lot of hard work into these robots. He's had to design them, he's had to plan them, he's had to come up with why he wants to research um, the behaviour of these penguins. So he's put a lot of time, energy, a lot of his efforts have gone into something. So could you think, put yourself in his shoes, say if you did a piece of work and you spent ages on it and someone came up to you and said, I think that's rubbish. I don't think that works as good as mine. I think it's awful. How would you feel? So have a think, put yourself in his shoes and explain why. So it might be again that you have to find in the text evidence that supports why um, you would feel the way that you um, that would explain how you think the scientist feels okay so remember always put yourself in their shoes if it asks you where it says you think it's an opinion question but you know you need to back it up with evidence okay now i can't wait to see these responses and what i think your challenge is going to be today so the challenge that i'm going to set you today is can you come up with an alternative title for this newspaper article, okay? So your challenge for today is to come up with a different title. So it's going to have the same text, the same picture, but you're going to come up with a different title. Yeah, so that's your challenge for today. I will be awarding Marvellous Me's for the children that do take me up on that challenge. 
and I can't wait to see what some of your answers are going to be okay and like always if you are stuck and need some help please contact us on our uniform email address or contact the office if you require a phone call okay have a happy wednesday year four and i will see you on friday for your next comprehension video of me bye